Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and in this video we're going to test out 12 different brands and see who makes the best Torx star bed. So if you have an upcoming project, could be a deck addition, a kitchen remodel, moving around some cabinets, you're probably going to run into one of these fasteners and you're going to want to know which one of these 12 brands produces the best Torx star bed. So let's get down to testing these Torx star bits and see how well they perform. For the first test, we'll be using these construction screws. We'll go ahead and insert 50 for each brand into a two x four. Then we'll go ahead and remove all 50 of the fasteners, and then we'll be able to compare the bit wear on the used bit to the new bit. We will do a Rockwell hardness test to see which bit is the hardest. Keep in mind, this does not give us any performance properties of the bit, but we may be able to correlate it to strength as well as wear resistance. In our final test, we'll measure the amount of force required to cause the Torx or star bit to fail, not only for the new bit, but for the one that we used in our previous testing. Finally, I did wanna mention that we chose 12 Southern Yellow Pine 2x4s, not only to reduce cost, but to also reduce waste. After you drill 50 fasteners into it, no matter where you space them out, the wood is pretty much useless. They were all purchased from the same store, the same day, from the same pallet, and they sat for about three months. We'll start off testing with the most expensive bit being the DeWalt Flex Torque, which is impact ready. This bit had nice fitment inside the fastener. This item also happens to be made in China and Vietnam. The DeWalt bit performed very consistent throughout the entire testing. It never became stuck in one of the fasteners and it was able to be removed really consistently. And the DeWalt was one of the hardest bits coming in at 58.5. Here we have the Makita Gold actually being the second most expensive coming in at 79 cents per bit. This set is made in China. While every fastener is slightly different, I would have expected better bit fitment. The Makita bit started off really well. I would like to note that the bit holder, it has a good amount of tension on it and it performed very well. One of my favorites actually. As far as hardness, the Makita was below average coming in at 50 and it made quick work of all the screws and tested and worked very well. The Milwaukee Shockwave are said to last up to 50 times longer than your standard bits, and you can see they're professionally made in China for Milwaukee tools. The bit fitment was really nice on these, and well, we had really no issues off the bat. We did have a couple bit slips, but that might be attributed to the fact that the Milwaukee bit comes in at the hardest of all bits at 62.1. Now this was my first time using the Milwaukee Shockwave, and I must say that it performed really well. Next up was the Bosch Extended Torsion Zone, said to have 10 times more life than a standard bit, had really good, decent bit fitment, and you can see that this is made in Vietnam. The Bosch bit is still one of our pricey bits in the top four coming in at 70 cents per bit. The torque transfer seemed pretty well. However, the hardness on the tip was below average at 53 on the Rockwell C scale, so it'll be interesting to see how this bit wears. The Montana brand bit was the only bit that was made in the USA. This star bit is cryogenically treated, which adds to the mechanical properties to reduce bit failure due to cracking, as well as increased rust resistance. The bit is precision ground for precise fit and reduced wear, and it really did have good fitment. So as far as general use, the bit grabs really well. I was really impressed with it, both in the removal and the insertion. As far as tip hardness, it was a little bit below average at 53.5 on the Rockwell C scale. And for being made in the USA, it's pretty cool to have one of these bits in the test. Here we have the Harbor Freight Bauer 35 piece impact driver set. It will run you roughly around 54 cents per bit. The bit fitment was, well, not as good as some of the other ones. It roughly is around 57.2, which is above average on the hardness for the tip. It had no issues driving in any of the screws, provided really exceptional torque throughout, grab the fasteners as I would expect, and I didn't have any issues with the Bauer. The next set I picked up at Ace Hardware, this is the Craftsman 49 piece black oxide drill bit set. It'll run you roughly 51 cents an item, and if you have a chance, go read the description over at the Ace Hardware website. Why? Because they list things like these 49 options translate into hundreds of completed projects. Whether you count on drilling to make a living, or you just really want to power through that honey-do list, this set is a must have for any handyman or DIY lady. On the bright side, the bits perform really well like DeWalt, and if you drop the case, well, it's not gonna close and lock anymore. So don't drop the case. This Irwin Compact 31 piece bit set was made in China to Irwin specifications and will run you roughly 49 cents per bit. The bits have really good bit fitment, however, the bit holder, not so well. Really dislike that bit holder. 
as the bit pulled free multiple times during insertion as well as screw removal. Now the bit performed really well. The tip hardness was 56.9, which was slightly above average. And it'll be interesting to see how this wears because the price to value ratio is pretty decent on this Irwin bit set. Now the next brand might be less familiar. This is the Performex 15 piece Torx insert bit set. Now this set is made in China for Menards. It's made out of S2 steel and the bit fitment was pretty decent for a value priced item. The Performex bits offer a really good price to value ratio coming in at 47 cents per item. The tip hardness is 57.1, which is really decent and this bit performed really, really well. Now the next set you might be familiar with, this is a cobalt set from Lowe's. It features a magnetic tray as well as 52 pieces that'll run you roughly 38 cents a piece. The bit fitment was decent. The S2 tool steel was coming in at 57.6 for the tip hardness. Now the one complaint I did have is the bit holder. That sleeve would slide down, cover the bit, making it hard to see. But other than that, this bit performed as I would expect. At first glance, this set looks like an Irwin, but the Master Force is said to have 10 times longer life than a standard bit. It's ready for your impact drivers. It's made in China for Menards. The bit fitment on here is just as good as that Irwin. However, the tip hardness is really soft coming in at 49.8. The bit being a little bit softer was really nice in the fact that I was able to remove most of the screws without using my hands. The Harbor Freight Warrior 32 piece magnetic driver guide kit is constructed of chrome vanadium steel. It's not impact rated. It has sloppy fitment to say the least. It is the softest of all the bits tested and is made in China. So I was surprised to see that we were able to get things off started well and then 10 screws in we broke the magnet inside the bit holder. We were able to finish things up with probably about three or four more bit detachments from the bit holder, but we were able to finish successfully. Now, in order to gauge the hardness of the bits, we used the Rockwell hardness tester. We tested the bottom, the side, and the top, and then we got our results together and we not only did the tip, but we also did an average of all three. So the large number on top is the tip hardness and the green line is the average. In some cases, the body was actually harder than the tip. So does the harder material mean less wear? Well, here are the results. You can see little to no wear on the Milwaukee, but just below that, the Harbor Freight Bauer really looks very similar. Now you can see that the black oxide finish on the DeWalt as well as the Irwin wears and it makes the bit look like it has issues, but really all of the fluting looks very, very nice on there. The one issue that I see here is on the top right, the cobalt, you can see that the flutes are thinner on the used one than the brand new one. And I really think there was a manufacturing defect there, but we'll talk about that more later. Now the final six Torx star bits that we're gonna look at are gonna be the Craftsman, the Montana brand, and the Bosch. Those are all listed on the top there. You can see that the Craftsman and the Bosch show just normal black oxide wear. As far as the Montana brand, you can look and see that the flutes, they look near flawless as well as if you look at the Makita Gold, you can see just some of the gold flaking off and it looks to be normal. Now the two softest materials, the Master Force and the Harbor Freight Warrior, they did show the most wear and you definitely can see that. In the final test, we're gonna go ahead and use the GRK Rugged Structural Screws. And here you can see we do flatten out one side of that structural screw. Once the screw is inserted, we go ahead and we tighten this down. and that should give us a nice tight base where we can twist off a lot of bits. We then select the brand of bit that we want to use. We go ahead and place that in our fastener. We go ahead and just insert our ratchet inside there. Tighten things down so that you don't have any extra play. And everything looks good to go. Get a nice tight fit, everything's lined up. Let's go ahead and take this to failure. So first we'll snap off the brand new bit, then we'll do the use bit and we'll kick things off with Milwaukee. So the brand new Milwaukee bit was able to achieve 172 inch pounds. It'll be interesting to see how the used Milwaukee bit performs. So we can see that there was a little bit of wear on the Milwaukee bit and the used bit snapped off at 160 inch pounds. Here we have the brand new Harbor Freight Bauer bit. 164 inch pounds for the Harbor Freight Bauer. When working with T25 Torx or Star Bits, the typical working torque is roughly 70 to 80 inch pounds. Here we have the used Bauer bit. 156 inch pounds for the used bit. So far we're seeing about a five to 7% difference in strength between the new bit and the used bit. Here we have the brand new Bosch bit. 
158 inch pounds, so slightly less than both the Bauer and the Milwaukee. Let's go ahead and test out the used Bosch Torx star bit. 158 inch pounds of braking torque on the used Bosch bit is exactly the same as the brand new one and really consistent results that we like to see even after a modest amount of wear. Here we have the brand new Craftsman impact rated bit. We can see that that failed at 155 inch pounds. Now do remember that this is a value priced item, comes in right around the middle price point. Here we have the used Craftsman bit coming in at 153 inch pounds. Up next we have the brand new Cobalt made of S2 steel. You can see the brand new Cobalt twisted off at 164 inch pounds. However, look at the manufacturing difference between some of the Cobalt bits. That makes the bits sit crooked and causes issues in the bit holder and doesn't allow you to apply a torque as you would expect. So let's test the used Cobalt Torx bit. And the used cobalt has a braking force of 148 inch pounds. So the difference between the new and the used is greater than 9%. Up next, we have the master force, the brand new bit. Now remember, this bit did test out a little bit on the soft side. Actually, it was one of the softest bits. So it'll be interesting to see how this one fails. We can see that the brand new master force bit failed at 150 inch pounds, which is still a really decent number considering it was a softer bit. Here we have the used master force bit. Now remember, this is one of the cheapest bits and also one of the softest bits. You can hear that subtle, but 148 inch pounds when it twists off, making about a 1.3% difference between the new and the used bit and still a little bit on the lower side than all the other bits that we've tested so far. New DeWalt flex torque bit was one of the most expensive bits as well as the second hardest and performed really well in the wear test. Shears off at 154 inch pounds. Here we have the used DeWalt Flex Torque. Again, that looked good after the visual wear check. It's gonna shear off here at 148 inch pounds, so about 3.89% difference between the new bit. Here we have the brand new Montana brand made in the USA star bit. This shears off at 135 inch pounds. Now, when we looked at the used bit, there was literally no wear on it. The bit looked really fantastic. So it'll be interesting to see how this one performs. So here is the used Montana brand bit. We can see that that shears off at 134 inch pounds. So not a lot of difference between the new bit and the used bit. And that consistency is what we really like to see. Here we have a generic branded Performex, but it is a Torque licensed trademark product shearing off at 155 inch pounds. So substantially higher in torque numbers. But the question is, will the used bit be just as consistent? So here we have the used Performex bit. And we can see that the used Performex torque bit sheared off at 155 inch pounds, which is really consistent and exactly the same as the new bit. The brand new Makita bit was one of the most expensive bits, but yet one of the softest. It shears off at 148 inch pounds. Let's see if the used bit has consistency. I can tell you it didn't show a lot of wear and it is a softer bit. We can see that the used bit shears off at 147 inch pounds and they're fairly consistent. Here we have the brand new Irwin Torx bit shearing off at 161 inch pounds. Here we have the used Irwin bit and this did fairly well in the wear test. And we can see that the used bit fails at 159 inch pounds. Pretty decent results for Irwin. And finally, we're gonna test out the Harbor Freight Warrior. This is the cheapest bit, the softest material, and they only include one. You can see that it fails at 120 inch pounds. Now, if you made it this far, please consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't. And here's the bonus material, the Heart Tools 137 inch pounds on their T25 Torx bit. So based on these results, you can see that the Bosch Torsion Zone, Performex, Makita Gold, Montana Brand, Irwin, and Craftsman are all really consistent. Now for the highest torque applications, you're gonna to wanna to look at the Milwaukee Shockwave, the Harbor Freight Bauer, and the Irwin. Keep in mind your application specific. If you have a softer fastener, like an aluminum type, you're gonna to wanna to choose a softer bit. There are companies out there that specialize and make bits according to the hardness at your specifications. Also, you need to be mindful of your price and your country of origin. So here's a grid of all the prices. You can see that out of all the bits, there's only one bit that's made in the USA and the rest come in at all different price points. So which brand makes the best Torx star bit driver? Well, we found a lot of good data today and hopefully you can make an educated decision. If you already are working in a specific application, what brand works best for you and what does not? Go ahead and comment down below so others have that knowledge as well. 
Just make sure that you're getting about 150 to 200 fasteners before you're seeing any bit wear. If you are seeing bit wear prior to that, you're probably not choosing the right bit for the application. This video idea, well, if you really are interested in it, why don't you go check out Project Farm? He did an awesome video on Phillips number two, and we did a cool video today on Torque Star Bits and which one is the best one for you, and hopefully you found that out today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder, and we'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.